Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a vulture, which was a request. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 14cm wide by 16.5cm or 5.5 inches wide by 6.5 inches. This medium Vulture crochet using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm wide by 10.5cm or 4 inches wide by 4.25 inches. This small vulture crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 9cm wide by 9cm or 3.5 inches wide by 3.5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton. So the size will be between the large one and the medium one. I'll be using Katona cotton. I've got 106 Snow White, 074 Mercury, 507 Chocolate, 162 Black Coffee and 393 Charcoal. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together a darning needle to weave in the ends, a 2.5mm crochet hook and scissors. Now I'm starting at the top of the head there. I've got my 07 for the mercury and I start with 4 chain. For row 1 I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put our hook into the stitch a second from the hook and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms for a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one single crochet into the last stitch. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the five stitches. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and then hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch.
For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 3 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each of the last 2 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the two remaining stitches. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and we're going to work a joined single crochet over the three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on the hook, we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we don't turn or fasten off, we work one chain and we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the stitch before the top, so this stitch here. For a slip stitch we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So one slip stitch in each stitch up to the stitch before the top. We just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put our hook and we try not to pull too tight. And when we get to the stitch before the top we work three chain. That's just for the little bit above the beak. We miss the first chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. Then slip stitch back into the head and work one slip stitch in each stitch back to the beginning of the row. Once I get back to the beginning of the row I fasten off. And that's the head done. When I weave in the ends I'll just pull it in a little bit more just at the bottom of the head, between the head and the neck there. Now I'll do that and I'll be back with my 393 the charcoal and we'll work, work the beak. Now for the beak I've got my 393 the charcoal and I'm going to join it in the second stitch under this three chain part just in the back loop so this stitch here in this back loop here and I work one chain I'll work one single crochet in the same stitch as the chain and 
one single crochet into the next stitch. Now I'm going to join it to this three chain part about halfway up with a slip stitch just in the side there. And then I'll slip stitch in the end of the three chain and turn my work. And I'm going to work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. So I put my hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. And then yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the stitch. Then I'll work one chain and fasten off. And that's the beak done. I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back with the white to work these neck feathers. Now for the neck feathers I've got my 106, the snow white, and I join in the back loop only two stitches down from the neck. Now that's the neck where it bends in, so not the next one but the following. And I start with three chain. We'll work one treble in the same stitch as our join. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work two chain and we slip stitch in the top of the treble just to make a little bit of a feathery part out there. Then we work another treble in that same stitch. Into the next stitch we'll work one double crochet, two chain, slip stitch into the top of the double crochet, and work a double crochet into the same stitch. Then we'll work one treble into the next stitch, two chain, slip stitch in the top of the treble, and work a treble into the same stitch. Then we'll work one double crochet into the next stitch, two chain, slip stitch in the top of the double crochet, and work a double crochet into the same stitch. And then work one treble into the next stitch, two chain, slip stitch in the top of the treble, and work another treble into that same stitch. and we fasten off. And that's the neck feathers done. For the body, I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I start with seven chain.
For row 1, I miss the first chain and work 1 single crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 6 stitches. For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. Then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 8 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. Then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 10 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And we work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our two single crochet into the first stitch we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now the next five rows, rows six to ten, are work the same. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 13 stitches. So that's five rows, rows six to ten, 
one chain and work one single crochet in each stitch. So I'll work those five rows off camera and I'll be back. Now I've finished those five rows. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 14 stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We'll work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have 13 stitches. Now the next four rows, rows 13 to 16, are work the same. We'll work one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 13 stitches. So that's rows 13 to 16. So I'll work those four rows off camera and I'll be back. Now I've finished the four rows of straight crocheting, rows 13 to 16. For row 17 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the end. I'll have 14 stitches. For row 18 I start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first seven stitches. and a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, and one half double crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have nine stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. 
For half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So one half double crochet in each stitch to the end. For row 20 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch, then 1 half double crochet into each of the next 3 stitches, One single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we'll work two single crochet into our last stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, we work one half double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And we're going to miss the last stitch. Row 22, we start with 2 chain and turn. We work 1 half double crochet in each of the first 4 stitches. and one single crochet into each of the last seven stitches. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches and one half double crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have 11 stitches. For row 24 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work 1 half double crochet into each of the first 5 stitches and one single crochet in each stitch to the end, we'll have 11 stitches. For 
For bow 25 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 11 stitches. For row 26 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first five stitches. And a join single crochet over the next two stitches. We leave the rest of the stitches. For row 27 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the six stitches. For row 28 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches, and we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 29 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. We leave the last two stitches. For row 30 we start with three chain and turn. We work one double crochet into the first stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. We're just starting these little feathers at the bottom of the body. Then we work two chain. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as our chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and then we work two chain. We work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and slip stitch in the last stitch along the bottom. And that's the body done except for the neatening row. We're going to work some more shaping into the neatening row, some more feathers. We're not going to turn we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch down the side to this next section where we left the stitches. So a slip stitch in each stitch down this side. And then slip stitch into each of the first two stitches along that section where we left the stitches. Then work two chain and work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then work two chain, work one half double crochet into the same stitch as our chain and slip stitch into the next stitch.
Now we're going to work one slip stitch into each stitch down to the next lot of stitches we left. I'm down to those stitches. I'm going to work a joined double crochet over the stitches. So I put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. And I'm going to repeat that across the next stitches. So yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. I've got quite a few loops on the hook. I put my yarn around the hook and I take my hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And then I work one chain and I'm going to keep slip stitching in each stitch around my work just down the joined double crochets and I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up around the top and down to this last little section where I left the two stitches so once I get back down here I'll be back and we'll work this little feather there once I get back to this point here, I slip stitch into the second stitch, work two chain and work one double crochet into the same stitch as the chain and fasten off. And that's the body done. For the wing, I'm going to work it in a different colour for this one because there's an extra colour in the katona. I've got my 507, the chocolate, and I start with four chain. For row 1 I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, one double crochet into the next stitch, and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each of the two remaining stitches. For row three I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into each remaining stitch. I'll have five stitches.
For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each remaining stitch. We'll have 6 stitches. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end will have 7 stitches. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 7 stitches. For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches, then 1 single crochet in each stitch to the end will have 6 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of our 6 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our five stitches. For row 12 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches and a joined single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 13 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our four stitches for row 14 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet in each of the first two stitches 
and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in the first stitch and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and we work a joined single crochet over the two stitches. And that's the wing done except for the neatening row. We don't turn or fasten off. We start with four chain. We work one treble in the same stitch as the chain. and slip stitch into the next stitch and work four chain. We work one treble in the same stitch as the chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and we've just got these four little feathery pieces along there. So work four chain, one treble in the same stitch as our chain and slip stitch into the next stitch and we need one more feather so four chain, one treble into the same stitch as the chain and slip stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch around to the end of the row so round to just at the beginning of that first feather there so I'll continue with my neatening row and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row now I'm back to the beginning of the row so I'll fasten that one off and that's the wing. We'll start on the leg feathers now. I've got my 106, the snow white and I'm going to start with a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop so make it how you feel most comfortable. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. Put the yarn around the hook and bring my hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. I start with one chain and work one single crochet into my circle and pull the circle tight but not really tight. For row two I start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the stitch for row 3 I start with one chain and turn I work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch for row 4 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the three stitches For row 5 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch And for row 6 I start with one chain and turn 
and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. And then I work an evening row. I start with one chain and I'm going to work one slip stitch in each stitch down to the end. I slip stitch into the end and work one chain and work one single crochet into the end and then work one chain and slip stitch into that same stitch and I'll work one slip stitch into each stitch around the rest of the piece. I've slip stitched into the first stitch and I fasten off. And that's the first leg feather done. The second one has worked the same. We start with a magic loop and work one chain and work one single crochet into the magic loop and pull it tight but not too tight. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and work two single crochet into the stitch. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And then we work the neatening row. So one chain and work one slip stitch in each stitch down the side. I slip stitch into the end and work one chain, one single crochet, one chain and slip stitch into that same stitch and then one slip stitch in each stitch to the end of the row.
and fasten off. Now I'll weave in my ends and I'll be back with the charcoal and we'll work these feet. Now for the first leg I join my 393 the charcoal at the end of the leg feathers. So just in there and I work 11 chain I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. Then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. I miss the next two chain and work one slip stitch in each remaining chain. And slip stitch in the end of the leg feathers. And fasten off. And that's the first foot. For the second one, I join in the end of the leg feathers again. And I start with eight chain. I work one slip stitch in the third chain from the hook, and then I work one chain and work a single crochet in the same stitch as that slip stitch. That's for the back part. And then I work four chain for the front part. I work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. And then one single crochet into it, the next two chain. And then I work a slip stitch in each stitch up to the feathers. I slip stitch in the top there and fasten off. And that's the second leg done. I'll just weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the body, the wing, the head and the two legs. The first thing I'm going to do is embroider an eye on the head there. I just embroider a black circle with a line going from the edge top edge of the eye to the beak there. I do have closer pictures of the makeup of my work on my website. There's a link in the description below. So I'll embroider on the eye. Now I'm going to attach the head to the body at this top end here. The feathers go above the body and there's a bit showing of the body down the side there. So just in about there. 
Next I attach the wing to the body. The top goes just behind the neck feathers and about half of the wing is off and the bottom, the first feather reaches to the body and I'll also attach the legs to each other. The one with the two parts goes on top of the other one. Just We just stitch them slightly together so that the front of that one reaches to the back. I just stitch down the white a tiny bit. I don't attach the, the feet part together. The last thing I do is attach the legs behind the body. Just in about there. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished vulture. And there's the finished vulture. The size is 10 centimetres wide by 14 centimetres or 4 inches wide by 5.5 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.